So for the syscutters, just having a binary self-describing format would solve most of the problems. In this case, there's no need for LibXO functionality in, in the kernel then. So I'll add that point. Short answer. And yes, we can just emit the syslog ng um, structured log entries from the kernel without needing an entire library for that anyway. So. So what are some of the utilities that people really want converted sooner rather than later? Um, we have a few. Let me see if I happen to have the list easily accessible. I think we have WWC. We don't have VMstat yet, LS, um, PS, Netstat. Um, I think Netflix did SafeCore, and there was an I. Um, SCSI CTL, I believe. <coughs> yeah. And we have Procstat VMstat in the pipeline, and there is a bug for uh, JLS. And I see Ping and CTL Adam that are being converted. What are some of the utilities that would really be benefit from, well, conversion to LibXO? Yes. Yeah. So one of the things I noticed with Gpart is that the installer became easier. I can imagine anything, for example, that benefits the installer would probably be a good utility to convert. It just makes it easier to emit things in the installer. Um, Right. And that would also work really nicely in the cloud, effectively, where typically you have a network connection, that's it. So, yeah. So any utility effectively that we need underneath such an interaction would then be a good candidate for conversion effectively. Yeah. Trust. Huh? Trust. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, things like uh, tracing, trust, k-trace, other kinds of tracing. Yeah. Um, Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey. And I'm, I'm curious. Yeah. If you look on OS X, they have this instruments utility. Yeah. Uh, and it provides, and I really like using OS X for start to end profile because the graphs utility on top of Dtrace makes the trace even nicer. Yes. If Dtrace is a million top of the machine readable. Yeah. Yeah. That makes life easier. Yeah. Like Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if we wanted to ship a OMAP or a KDE yeah. in ports, but we could say here are all the top decode scripts that you could process up <coughs> generic visualization to let go out of this form. Yeah. Is TCP dump, which similarly would be really great if you get it all structured, is that imported? And do we still use the contributed version? Is syncing still a problem yeah, there? Still. Okay, so that isn't an easy one from that perspective. It's conceivable they might accept it. Yeah. Do they have any other dependencies that they might end up wanting to embed with the next OEM that produces? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think the interesting question there is whether they want that or it wouldn't be very hard. I mean, you would have to do the well structured and stuff that's going to be not great, not great, but it's yeah. reasonably well structured in terms of having all the adventure points or protocols and, and whatnot. So yeah. Proof of concept. Proof of concept yeah. to IP and TCP yeah. and yeah. Well, something simple but complicated enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that it might yeah. I never, I never asked. Is there libxo functionality that you think is missing? Different in roles? I did a uh, Peterson uh, CSV utility. And, uh, it has all the things I needed for those. But yeah. Is there anything else? I don't have enough experience converting stuff by myself to have anything concrete. From the presentation, to me, it looked fairly complete. So uh, I don't see anything missing, bottom line. Is there value for YAML, for example, even though we know we can do JSON? I mean, do we want to go to, we have 20 different encodings that effectively all are the same? Yeah, well, just a bank, essentially. well, even if it is, it <laughs> the question stands. Uh, reason, do right. you want to go to... Can you not output the base and then claim that it's yellow? I don't think you can go that far. The question is... But not the other way around. Right? Yeah. 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 Well, I guess one of the current issues with the JSON output would be data really subjective at all. Okay. Is there some things that are representable? Um, uh, you know, we would love the right answer to that. Yeah. Not entirely the right way. So, like the attributes. Yeah. 
there's not an easy way in, in there's not a standard way to carry uh, attributes in, in, uh, in JSON. Uh, and, 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 and the non-standard ways are all but ugly. I mean, attributes make an economic a nice way to carry metadata. The other thing we don't, that EXO doesn't do, is uh, XML namespace. Because that's not standard. So an attribute in JSON as a, a comment, would that be too you ugly? comments in JSON. Oh. Really? Really? What am I confused with YAML then? YAML allows comments. That's my specialty. I thought JSON was YAML. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm just fucking around here. Uh, YAML's, in, YAML's interesting because they there's YAML 1.0 which was kind of nice, and YAML 1.0 or 1.1 which is it added a couple of features that nobody uses, and then YAML 1.2 added so many features that nobody uses that nobody's bothered to implement it. Yeah. So all the implementation just goes out. So on the localization, internationalization, there's a reference to the get text I from uh, NetBSD. Um, I think there was a, a comment on, um, I think, David, you mentioned something. It would be nice if we had that get text message number so that you can get the localized version. Uh, is that something that? We can add to the hmm. would be nice to have in Live XO. Sure. I don't know. I mean, the message functions that we have, I think, are all based on numbers. I don't know if get text actually turns it into a number too. Get text, the API is get text, but then it's written. Yeah, but you need to with it the underscore, right? So. But the underscore is just turns that the, the macro to get text. Right. So. Oh, I think you actually give the string to get text in case there's no file for the translation. It just prints that string, right? Yeah. So the message catalog functions that we have in Leipzig, yeah, that's all numbers as far as I. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And is that what's in that BSD? Okay. Yeah. So the, the 
employer in either pad points to uh, X.1. Uh, did, did it go into Libby Oh, it was Sonnenberger? 